everybody. Lesson, welcome to lesson four. Now in lesson four, we're going to talk about three main things. First off, the mission statement. Then we'll go to branding. And finally, we'll finish up with advertising. Now this may be one of the most crucial lessons in all of the lessons that we teach because it helps you really lay the foundation and reach out to your target markets. Now let's talk about the mission statement. The mission statement is one line, maybe two, that describes your business. It tells everybody what your business is about. Now, here is a couple of things that we want to remember when we're talking about our mission statement. The very first one, we want to keep it only between two and three sentences. One is even okay, because the, sh the longer it is, the more we get lost in what's happening. The second thing we want to remember is it, we need to include something that you've accomplished in the past. So if you're a business that has sold a lot and a lot of product and you're the number one in your industry, then you need to make sure that you mention to be a world leader or something along those lines. Uh, target market. You need to include who you're talking to. Your mission statement should be centered towards the people that you're trying to sell to. If I'm trying to sell to babies or mothers of babies, I don't really want to be talking to teenage boys, do I? No, that's not a good idea. So making sure that your mission statement has a purpose as to who you're talking to. And finally, it does not need to be wordy. The sweeter, the better. The shorter, uh, shorter is sweeter. So the less words you can have, the better. The more you can make whatever these one or two sentences is uh, communicate. <laughs> as long as these one or two sentences communicate what you're saying, that's really good. So the less words, the better. A couple of examples of these would be Nike. Nike said to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Only one sentence. Or Starbucks. Uh, to inspire, nurture, and nurture the human spirit, one person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. These are good examples of short, sweet, not too wordy, but inspiring mission statements. So now we come to our second lesson inside lesson four. This is on branding. Now branding is the second step after you develop your mission statement. Your mission statement is what your company stands for. But the brand is how you want to present it to everyone else around you. So some important ways to brand items. Now this could be anything that makes a person remember your item over someone else's. Uh, if you think of Nike, they have the iconic swoosh marker on their on all of their products. You look at Apple, they have the little Apple logo in the back. So let's talk about a few. Uh, name. Name is very key. When people start to think about your product or your service or your business, they oftentimes want a name that they can remember. Now good things to remember when creating a name are obviously to have it relate in some way to your business. You don't want a completely different sort of item um, getting detached from your business that distracts your viewer. The second one would be a logo. Uh, a logo could be anything from a sort of design that encapsulates your business. Um, as we just talked about, Apple has a little Apple symbol on the back of all their iPods and uh, iPhones, or Nike has a little swoosh on all of their products. Uh, other things that could be associated with branding, we can talk about taste. If something tastes a certain way, you know that that is a certain product. Uh, there's a certain uh, Coca-Cola, for instance, has a very specific taste as compared to Pepsi. You would know the difference by tasting the two of them. And a lot of people like one over the other because of that taste. Well, that's branding. Next, we have a slogan. Uh, going back to Nike, just do it is a very popular slogan. Um, as well as many others uh, that would go something, ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. Is that McDonald's? It was. <laughs> So that's a slogan, something that it, when people hear it, they know, oh, that goes with this company or that goes with this business. Finally, we have graphics. So this could look like a big picture of some sort. A lot of businesses have a mural in front of their business or when they do their big advertisements, uh, they'll have a certain picture that they associate with it. These could be certain sorts of graphics. It's very similar to a logo. 
And finally, sounds. There's a certain sound that goes along with, uh, with a product. It's oftentimes associated with it. Now, it could be for McDonald's, ba da ba 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 or it could be something when you open a jack-in-the-box, you have that wound and wound and wound, and then it pops. That sound would go along with it. So these are some ways in which you can brand, and there's many more. For instance, movement is another way in which you can brand. Uh, the Lamborghini, uh, when it opens the doors, it come, they come up like a spider, and they've called it the spider doors. That's a way to brand their car. All these are different ways to brand, and now we'll look, about how, we'll look into how you can advance those brands and really talk about um, you know, how you can get those out to the public. Now to wrap everything up, we're going to talk about advertising. So since we talked about a mission statement and you know what your company is trying to do, and now that we talked about branding and what your company has been doing to make your mission statement possible, we're going to talk about how you're going to actually get that out to the public. Now this is done through advertising. Now when we think about advertising, there are four things that we want to keep in mind. Okay? This is called the marketing mix or the four P's, okay? Within this, we have product, price, place, and promotion. So with this, in every piece of advertising you do, you wanna make sure that you keep these four P's going, okay? So if you're creating an advertisement, you wanna make sure that the product is front and center, okay? That the product is pronounced and you can see the product. Then we're going to talk about price. So somewhere on your advertisement, you want to make sure that the price of your item is mentioned. Finally, the place, where you can go to buy it. It's very important so the consumer doesn't get all lost. And finally, you want to promote it. You want to, say, give, the, uh, you want to give whoever is going to buy your product a reason to come buy it. Now this could look like a sale. It could look like a buy one, get one free. All those sorts of things fall into the category of promotion. So making sure you have the four P's in whatever advertising you're doing is very important. Now let's talk about a couple ways in which you could advertise. Print advertising is the number one way in which most businesses advertise uh, in, in the world today. Now this print advertising can be done either through the newspaper or through posters or through some other form of uh, printable and readable material. Second, we have email. The world is getting ever more socially connected. And because of that, email is very important. So making sure that whatever you do, uh, you send out email reminders to those customers that may want to buy a product. Finally, we have flyers. Anyone can hand out flyers. Create a little half sheet that says something about your business that includes the four P's in it. and Hand that out on the street corner or in a place that your target market would likely want to come and get it from. And then finally, social media. Everybody's on Facebook, right? Are you on Facebook? Good. Well, if you are, then you can use Facebook to get your business out there, as well as Twitter, Yelp, um, Pinterest, all sorts of other social media devices. People are becoming more and more creative as how they use social media to advertise their product. So with this, this concludes our advertising section of this lesson.